So we are going to actually look at the law of cosines. We've already seen a couple of examples of the law of sines and um, now we need to see a situation where I can come in here and I think, okay, so I have this triangle and I want to know what T is. I want to know the length between U and, that's not a very nice V, U and V. And um, so I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, maybe I could use the law of sines for this. So um, I could do sine of T divided by little t equals sine, because I'm giving three pieces of information, sine of u divided by u. So I'm looking at sine of 65 divided by t equals sine, well I don't know what sine of u is either, divide, but I do know that, that this is divided by 17. Well, it's kind of hard because now I still have two variables that I need to solve for. So now I'm gonna think, okay, well maybe, Maybe if I go back and I do mm, sine of t, which is 65, I don't know I wrote an i, divided by t equals sine of v divided by 9. I don't know I wrote that and I didn't write the t. So this is going to be sine of 65 divided by t equals, well I still don't know sine of v divided by nine. So again, I still have two variables that I need to solve for, so that doesn't help me either. Well, there's another way that I could find t. I could use the law of cosines. In this case, I'm gonna do t squared equals u squared plus v squared minus two u v cosine of capital T. Okay, we don't know what t squared is, so I'm gonna keep it as t squared. u squared, well u is going to be 17, 17 squared is 289, plus v squared, which is nine, which is just 81, minus two times 17 times nine, so two times 17 times nine is 306, cosine of 65 degrees. All right, so this next step, I'm going to plug into a calculator and I'll get T squared, and I'm gonna make this into a teal color to show I used a calculator, TI calculator, teal. I'm not gonna say get it because that's just a bad pun. It was just too bad for me to actually say that. All right, so T squared equals 240.68. Well, again, I just wanna solve for T, so I'm gonna take the square root. And technically I should take the square root of plus or minus, but we're talking about a length here. And we're talking about basically being in a quadrant where the length is positive, so we don't have the ambiguity. And we get t to roughly be equal to 15.5. All right, rounding to the nearest tenth, and which is what they want us to do. All right, so there we go. This is using the law of cosines, and this is why we use the law of cosines, because we just couldn't use the law of sines with the values given to us. All right, guys, so this is the end of this video. If you have any comments or questions, always feel free to ask. I always feel to say, remember to like and subscribe for more fantastic Algebra 2 videos. But again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.